Good morning. It's a new day. It's a new week. It's Monday. And um, Sunday, Sunday was a complete write off because my period started and I have endometriosis. And so it was not, it was not a good time. And it's usually the first day that's really bad, like really, really bad. And then like the other days are a little bit more manageable, like today specifically. Um, it's a bit more manageable. I'm trying to keep track and time of when I take my painkillers because it's like I'll take them and then I like forget about it because I'm like, oh, I feel pretty like good. Like it doesn't completely take the pain away. Like it's still, I still feel it, but it's like I'm become functional. And then it's like a few hours later and it's only when I start to feel the pain like a lot that I then take the medication again. But I'm trying not to do that because then that just cuts out time where I could just be doing whatever I want to be doing as opposed to just being like, oh, pain. Um, but I thought I would show you, I tried to be a little bit productive yesterday because I slept most of the day because of the types of pain meds that I took. Um, today I'm not taking hectic pain medication. <laughs> So I thought I'd show you what I got from Daiso because I actually unpacked it um, yesterday. So this is what I got. Um, I got this little, it's for, I think it's for putting like hot pots on. And I thought it was really cute. It's, um, it's Popeye. It says Popeye on it. I can't remember if I showed you before. I'm pretty sure I did. I actually did. Anyway, let's forget about that. Um... This is what I got. I got a few little side plate dish thingies. So I got a teapot. I got these for when we do like hot pot barbecue things at home for like side dips and stuff. Even just like when you have like side dips for general things, maybe with guests. Anyway, I got these little things. I got them because they're cute <laughs> and I got these little rice bowls and then I also got these um, I think they're also for little side things and I got these little plates I got four of them one of them is in my room because I had a donut on it last night and then I got these little cups which are cute for tea as well as um, when you have sake. Actually, I got this because I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. I can have my sake in it. But I had the last time I had sake was probably three years ago. So I don't know what possessed me to get this, but oh, there's a bit of a thing on it. But now that I have it, I probably will get sake, you know? My at-home bar is going to be incredible. I've been looking at bar carts to get, and I've found a few. And I also put stuff away, so we've got this going on. I These are just cutlery that I got from Kmart, these ones. Um, I might update them later or like get different ones because obviously these ones are like pretty cheap. Um, but they're okay, they do the job. I like, they're okay. <laughs> um, and then I got, popped everything in here. And I don't know if I put anything, nope, I put anything in here, ah, yes. And then I ended up getting another pan when I went to Woolworths yesterday because I was like, these two are pretty small. Um, so I just got that one before I get a proper set of pans. And then I got a few condiment things. I got some eggs because they don't need to be in the fridge. And then I got a bunch of sauces. I got some almond butter to have with my apples as well. well these are my apples everything is like a general mess i think it's it's just because things don't have anywhere specific to go lots of things that i've gotten but um today i'm gonna go to h&m because i want to go to the home section because i love the h&m home section so i feel like i'll find a few things like pieces to pick up that i really like
got some books. Um, I'm starting to feel the pain and I literally forgot to bring my Nurofen. I'm pretty sure I forgot. Yep. No meds here. So I'm gonna sit, um, have some lunch and get stuck into one of my three new books and then I'm just probably gonna head straight home because my window of tolerance is growing. I feel like I have an hour before it gets worse. because I was looking for um, a skirt to go with a corset that I have um, and I found a skirt and I tried the skirt on and I don't know I just couldn't really imagine it with the corset I think because it was like a low-waisted skirt and I don't really feel like I suit low-waisted things I feel like it's high waist and then a crop top like this that really works with my physique <laughs> so I left that and then I got this dress instead, which I wasn't planning on getting. I did try it on in Sydney when I was last there, but then I was like, oh. But then there was something about it this time when I tried it on. I just thought, wow, that's so pretty. And even though I don't think I'm going to wear it this week, I know for a fact that I'm going to wear it not next week, but the week after at, um, I'm going on a very exciting trip. So I'll probably wear it when we do dinner there or something. Um, and then <clears throat> I do have an event the evening afterwards, so if it's not stained, then I'll probably wear the exact same dress. And the night after I get back from the trip, Zach will finally be here, which is so exciting. So I'll show you what I got from Dimix. It's actually so nice to have a Dimix that has a cafe as well. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And this book is pretty good. I know I just got the Amari. Chronicles book. I'll still read it, but I don't know, like buying books and bringing them home just it makes me feel like I'm settling in and this is my home, even though there is no furniture. It just feels like, oh, I'm buying books to add to my book collection at home. So I got this book, The Winter Garden, which I've already started reading. We'll update on thoughts later. Um, but it's about this garden that appears and disappears. So I'm very excited about it. And then this one, actually I'll get into this one last. This book is called Stone Blind. It's basically the story of Medusa, but I think it's from more from Medusa's perspective. And I don't know, I really resonate with her story. Um, I'll get into that another time at some point. I need to go to therapy first. But anyway, <laughs> I really resonate with her story. So, I got it, got the book. I think I'll really enjoy it. And also, this book, I also love Greek mythology. Anything Greek mythology, I'm like, oh my gosh. Greek mythology and anything that's like folklore, that kind of stuff, I love it. Um, but then this book is called Silver Under Nightfall. And basically, it's like a vampire hunter that falls in love with a vampire. But I think it's like a polyamory kind of storyline. So I'm very excited to read this because I've never, I think the only books that I've read are like between two people, never three. So I'm very interested to see how it's written. Like never three people all falling in love with each other safely and comfortably, if that makes sense. It's always like, Someone falls in, it's like a love triangle, but this time it's like a rubble, I believe. I could be wrong, but those are the vibes that I'm getting. Um, also, on my way in, I stopped by the, um, 
pack parcel collection. The concierge had a package waiting for me and when it came out, I was like, oh, how am I gonna carry this? But it's very light, it's just unnecessarily big. And it's from Kmart, so we'll see what it is. I got a bunch of things from Kmart last week. No, because I don't think that was necessary. Really? Is that all that was in there? Have I been robbed? No. Why? No. It doesn't look like I've been robbed. What the heck? In this thing for my cutlery in here, in there, this box, just this. That was unnecessary. That was very unnecessary. I don't know why we did that. I don't know why we had to go through that, but I'm excited that this is here. It's also expandable, so it should all fit in here. Now, onto the H&M haul. I also got a bunch of first aid stuff after just realizing that I just can't be buying things when I need them. I need to just have them. So I got my antihistamine stuff. I got some, a bunch of different painkillers. I got some cold and flu medicine. I got bandages. I also got some new toothpaste and some whitening strips because I haven't whitened my teeth in years with any like at home whitening stuff. And I just think, I think they could use a bit of a refresh. First thing I got is this, which I love. I already, I had it in my old apartment and I just really, really loved it. And I, what did I use it for? I think I used it as a hallway runner for a bit and then I used it as in my room for a bit and then I used it as like a kitchen carpet for a bit so we've got this it's very long I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the hallway per se or just kind of like lay it in the kitchen to close up the kitchen space I don't know we're gonna suss it out and I'll get back to you this blanket I wonder, because the one that I got from Kmart, like the fluff just goes everywhere. But this is really pretty and I know that this will go on the couch. Um, and yeah, it can also double as a nice travel scarf. Uh, travel scarf slash blanket. So, there's that. I'm gonna put this in this room. I think everything that doesn't have a specific home yet, I'm going to just keep in this. I'm calling it the spare room for now because Zach's not here yet. So I'm gonna keep it in Zach's room because it's the only room that's not being used. And I think I just need to clear my space a little bit. So the next thing I got, this isn't really home related. Well, it is, it is home related, but it's not furniture related at all is a post shower gown. I don't like walking around in my towel, but also there's some times where I just get ready, or like have a shower and I'm like, oh, I just don't want to commit to clothes yet. So, here we are. It's actually pretty long, it's longer than I thought it would be. Got some pajamas. I got these striped pajamas, honestly, are they pajamas? Yes. Will I be wearing them as not pajamas? Also, yes. I also got a bath mat because I just it just felt so wrong getting out of my shower um, and just being on the bare floor. And last but not least, I don't know if you've seen my vases, but they all have like a Greek art vibe to them and when I saw these I was like oh my gosh mini vases but then I realized they were candles and like they smell okay like it's not really like a scent that I'm like oh it's scented yeah mahogany scented I don't know if if they each had different scents Also mahogany. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, 
but the biggest fan of the aesthetic and once these like burn out i'll probably use them for something i'm not entirely sure yet i feel like this is it's a good thing for rings um although i do have already ideas of how i want to organize my jewelry but it's definitely something that i'm going to keep and use maybe i'll put like little wildflowers in it or um yeah i know we'll figure it out but they are so cute i love them so i have my building induction and then i have to pack for sydney tomorrow but i don't have to pack a lot because i'm only there for two nights which is really good and i'm definitely going to just three outfits that's it one for each day because like the flight's only an hour so i can really wear whatever i want okay let me just let me get to cleaning <laughs> going to put together some outfits for this week um, basically what's going on is I'm going to the city and um, Jonathan Van Ness is in Australia how exciting so Jonathan Van Ness is in Australia and JVN which is his um, their hairline So I'm going to be putting some outfits together for this week. Basically, Jonathan Van Ness is in Australia and they have their hair care line, which I absolutely love and use all the time, um, JVN. So there's going to be a JVN event. I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but I'm just excited to be there. And I am going to put together an outfit for the night or the day. I think it's during the day. So I have a few options. So this is the first outfit. I have to, you can't, hold on. Wait, let me just go to the mirror and show you. Right, so this is the first outfit and I just I love it so much and um, the only thing that's a bit funky is the underlining of this kind of I don't know it looks a bit odd but it's really cute I'll wear it with my shaping shorts just so that I feel a little bit more comfortable but I just love I love this dress and I'm so glad that I packed this boots these boots because I'll probably wear it with these boots and I knew that I wanted to wear it with some kind of knee-high boots and I was like oh, should I just buy a pair of knee-high boots but then I was like tender no you've done enough you have done enough okay outfit number two kind of centers slash hinges on this top this is the top well corset whatever that I went to go find a skirt for specifically and this is a skirt that I already have. I don't know if it's like too much white. Obviously it's wrinkled and a little dirty and I need to clean it. But I don't know. I disapprove. However, I do want to see what it will look like with this shrug. If it will give it like, I don't know, ballerina vibes. I think with the shrug is actually really cute cute however it's the bottom half and i think because the top is so i don't know 
spicy. <laughs> um, I think the bottom half needs to be simpler or like the whole I, I think I wanted a long maxi skirt I think that's the thing but I only have blue and green and I think white would have been too much but maybe like because this has like little pink here maybe a pink one maybe a green one would work let me try the green so I bypassed the skirt and went straight for shorts and I actually really like how this looks. I feel like it's ballerina meets cowboy. And there is a specific pair of cowgirl boots that I saw, white ones, that I really, really loved. And I just feel like it would make, it would make the outfit. I'm not going to get them, but I feel like this is good. This is good enough. I like this outfit. Maybe I'll try it with different shoes. I don't know. I feel like the boots. I like wearing shorts with like knee high or like high boots. I just, I don't know. I like it better than like shorts with just normal heels. So I think this is the second outfit. My second option of outfits. Just depending on how I feel on the day. it's taken me so long to get onto this packing cube business but this is fantastic so in this one I have my pajamas and underwear socks like lounge vibes and in this one I have the two outfits that I'm taking or oh, I also have like two extra little tops just in case I change my mind about what I want to wear on my last day and then that's just the jumper that wouldn't fit in there and then that's all my clothes done. And then on this side, I only have, I'm only taking one extra pair of shoes and then just the shoes that I'm wearing. And this side I'll put my makeup and skincare. And that's me done. vlog off here. I'm probably gonna have some tea, read a book a little bit and go to bed and the next time you'll see me I'll be on my way to Sydney. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!